Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and this is I Am Love Church. Well, hope you guys are doing good today. And uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with our channel, if you can't tell the title, it's a uh, it's a church. I Am Love Church. We're small right now, but we are looking to expand, not to benefit off of anything that we can gain personally, but for God's kingdom. Uh, we believe that there's only one God. We believe that the Holy Bible is God's word inspired by the Holy Spirit. We believe that you can't earn salvation. Uh, you can only believe by trusting in Christ. We believe that process happens when we surrender our life each and every day to seek God's plans and not our own. We believe that God loves us and He loves you. He created all things for His pleasure. He made some amazing pleasures, but we believe that He has rules. And we believe that um, those rules are good. And when we don't have rules in our life, our life can go very bad. He describes two paths. path of goodness, which is God's way, the one true God, and the path of evil, which is the path of destruction and horrible misery and sorrow and pain. We believe that most people in this world and throughout history have chosen the evil path, have chosen to worship idols and... Uh, we believe that only few people will be saved and there are the ones that choose the good path, that choose God's path. So our question would be, what path are you on? And is it the good path? Is it God's path? Or is it the path of destruction? We don't believe that you're here by reason, not just in this world, but here on this channel, we believe that God has something for you, something to say each and every day, something to do each and every day. He wants to give you a new life. He wants to give you hope. He wants to give you peace. He has so many blessings. He wants to be your father, not like your father of this earth. He wants to wash away your sins so you don't walk around feeling guilty or hopeless. And uh, we believe he has all that. And, it, and that example was was on is on the cross so you're asking well, how do I get this gift well it comes by surrendering to God it comes by acknowledging your mistakes according to his word seeing where you've fallen short and saying I'm sorry God which is called repentance we believe that seeking God in his holy Bible building a relationship with him Will, will grow our salvation inside of us to give us what we really longed for our entire life, which is peace, which is to feel accepted, which is love, which is good. This world has redefined everything, every word, um, everything which is right and wrong. We believe that that happens because of Satan. Satan who rules this world but God is sovereign over everything he allows evil to happen because he gave each and every one of us free will to choose to love him or not to just like you can't love your TV or your, well you can love your TV but your TV can't love you back we human beings choose to do things we choose what to value we choose whom to love we choose when to forgive we choose to do good, and we also choose to do evil. But God says you have to surrender your free will back to me. If you want to see real life, true living life that I have, if you want your eyes to be open, your ears and your heart to be open, you have to surrender what you've been holding on for so long, your free will to choose to go about doing whatever you want to do on a regular basis. Even if it's not beneficial, conscious or unconscious, you have to give up the most valuable possession that God says is valuable to Him, which He gave you, your free will. And you have to surrender it to Him each and every day of your life and trust Him 
like Jesus did. Jesus came to do God's will, and he still does God's will for all eternity. Are we willing to surrender our free will to God for the rest of our lives throughout eternity to know that our ways are bad, but his ways are good? That is a choice each and every one of us will have to make, and that's a choice that each and every one of us, consciously or unconsciously, are making each and every day. Choose God. Get forgiven for your sins. And find out that He is good, and nothing I do can earn it, and nothing I do is good in comparison to His. For all is vanity, vanity, says the preacher, but God is the only purpose in living. We thank you for joining our page. We thank you for looking and seeing that there is new life. But are you willing to accept the correction? Are you willing to be correctable, to be teachable, to abandon your practices, to abandon your behavior, to abandon everything? maybe even your family, to know that God is the only one who's worth living for. We thank you for watching, and we look forward to uh, seeing what God does in your life. God bless.